Welcome back to our video series on the Tainas. In this video, we will only be focusing on the Tainas religious practices. Like most people are today, the Tainas were religious. They believed in many gods and spirits, which means that they were polytheistic. They worshipped gods called Zemis, which they carved from wood or stones. The Caciques, apart from being the community leader, was also their spiritual leader. He was responsible for communicating with the gods and spirits at religious ceremonies on behalf of all the villagers. Before doing so though, he would purify himself by smoking a special type of tobacco, inducing vomiting, and inhaling a drug called cohaba bark. In his intoxicated state, it was believed that he communicated directly with the spirits and the gods. The Tainas believed that when they died, their souls would go to Kayaba, which they called heaven. They believed that in Kayaba, their souls would have eternal peace and rest, as it was thought that Kayaba had no drought, no hurricane or sickness, but instead was filled with feasting and dancing. As such, they worshipped their ancestors or spirits, which were called Opias are opias. The Tainas worshipped many gods. They believed in two main gods. Yokaho, who was the god of cassava, the main food crop of the Taino, and Atabe, the mother of Yokaho and the goddess of fertility. Atabe was seen as the creator deity and was the most important god for the Taino people. She was the goddess of the moon, fertility, and fresh water. She was viewed as the mother of gods. Here's a table showing some of the Taino's gods and what they represented. As you can see, they had many other deities, such as Guaban Sex, the goddess of hurricanes or winds, and Maketori Greyaba, the god of the dead. Watuava was the god of thunder and lightning. The Zemis of the Tainos took many forms and were made from many materials and were found in a variety of settings. The Tainos felt they needed to be on good terms with their gods since they governed the world and the elements, as they thought. There is so much we can learn about the Tainas. In our next video, we will examine how it is that they met their basic needs. Until then, thank you for watching and remember, subscribe to the channel so that you will be notified of the new videos that will be released.